Okay, our next drill is going to be controlled out of system drill that we run quite a bit. Um, I'll try to set it up or show you how we have it set up here. We're going to have, for this particular drill, we're going to have our three uh, setters in the right back position, all right, and they'll alternate in and out. We have attackers at uh, left and right. We have defensive people in middle back. Now, you can change this any way you like, but this is kind of the way we get it set up. Then we have some people that are going to initiate the drill on the other side of the net, right front and left front. Their goal is to take the setter out, okay, which is to put us into out-of-system mode. So they'll be attacking towards the setter. If not, the defensive people will be uh, sharing digging duties with them. Uh, whichever, when the ball gets up, we're in the out of system. Now, the attacker's job, obviously, once the ball gets set, is to try, we put goals on them. It might be in your gym that you, they just get the ball a successful contact uh, over the net. Uh, we've kind of put a restriction where we like them to start thinking of hitting into zone one or zone five. Again, it's up to the skill level that, you, that you're working with. Uh, so we're, we're going to put that on them. We want to go one or five if we can. Those are the ones that count. And then we'll put a target on there. So many good uh, balls. Let's say we're going to go for 10 good balls. They can only be in one and five. Um, you can also, if it's in six, it's a wash. It doesn't count. Um, you can also put in minus one on attack errors. Uh, you can put one, minus one in attack errors in the net or any attack error, uh, depending on, um, again, how difficult or easy you want to make this drill. Okay? It's going to look a little bit like this. Uh, let's go. Ready? You can see the setter is digging the ball. Defensive person stepping in without a system. You'll notice the uh, technique they're using is down up, where they're getting down low, all right, and taking a swing out of that set. All right, it's all right, good. They're both going for the ball. Here we go. All right. All right, stop. All right. The one thing uh, I don't hear them doing, we'd like to have them doing, you should be calling out the number each and every time, even if you don't score. Uh, when we have a target and we're trying to reach a certain target, the team should be calling out after every contact. We're on four. If we don't get one, it's four. If we fail again, it's four. Or if we get a good shot that we're looking for, five. That way everybody knows where we are here. All right, so let's try this again. Let's uh, start counting. What was our goal? That's how well they pay attention. All right, so let's go back to uh, what do we have on it, 10? All right, we're going to go for 10, and I want them counted out. Here we go. Ready? Go. So still on zero. We got one. All right. Run zero, minus one. And in our case, another error, we, you can go negative or you can stay at zero. 